Princess Michael of Kent's racist approach war and while meeting Meghan Markle stuns royal fans. A princess has sparked controversy after she wore a racist brooch to an event where she would have mingled with Prince Harry's biracial fiancé Meghan Markle. A princess has sparked controversy after she wore a racist brooch to an event where she would have mingled with Prince Harry's biracial fiancé Meghan Markle. Princess Michael, the wife of Prince Michael of Kent, has caught the eye of many royal watchers who have spotted the offensive piece of jewelry in photos from the Queen's Christmas lunch. The Queen's first cousin was photographed in the car while wearing a brooch in a black Khmer style. The brooch features a black figure wearing a gold robe and headdress. In general, black Khmer art has been seen as being racially insensitive. The figures are sculptures and other depictions of exoticized figures, including images of servants or slaves, which were used in European art in the early modern period. They almost always have dark skin and are depicted as being subservient. Many on social media have noticed and criticized the choice of jewelry as a fashion statement in front of Ms. Markle, who is the future wife of Prince Harry. Some questioned whether she deliberately wore it to upset Ms. Markle. Ms. Markle, 36, has been open about her cultural heritage, telling the world that she is biracial. The American TV actress and a divorcee penned an essay for LUK in 2016 where she addressed the issue, saying, to describe something as being black and white means it is clearly defined. Yet when your ethnicity is black and white, the dichotomy is not that clear. In fact, it creates a gray area. Being biracial paints a blurred line that is equal parts staggering and illuminating. She also talked of how her background affected her ability to book jobs in the acting industry. Being ethnically ambiguous, as I was pegged in the industry meant I could audition for virtually any role. Morphing from Latina when I was dressed in red, to African American when in mustard yellow, my closet filled with fashionable frocks to make me look as racially varied as an 80s Benetton poster. Sadly, it didn't matter, I wasn't black enough for the black roles and I wasn't white enough for the white ones, leaving me somewhere in the middle as the ethnic chameleon who couldn't book a job, she wrote. She will be the first American whose marriage to a member of the royal family will be welcomed by them. Prince Harry and Ms. Markle released a series of portraits by New York-based fashion photographer Lexi Lubomirsky to mark their engagement today. Lubomirsky, a former assistant to Mario Testino, famed for his photos of Harry's mother Princess Diana, took the pictures this week at the royal retreat of Frogmore House, near Windsor Castle, west of London where the couple are due to marry on May 19. I cannot help but smile when I look at the photos that we took of them, such was their happiness together," Luba Mirsky said. Queen Elizabeth's 33-year-old grandson, Harry, fifth in line to the throne, and Markle, who stars in the US TV legal drama Suits, announced their engagement last month.